undefeated from Kolnowski. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the dazzling Tom Dora. Across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the blue trunk strip with white weight in 11 stone, 7 pounds, 2 ounces, undefeated. 11 contests, 11 wins, 2 inside the schedule distance from Birmingham. Time to meet Too Slick, Craig Cunningham. Once again, the prize fighter draw puts two undefeated fighters together. So, ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Jamie Kirkpatrick, our referee in charge is Victor Lockland, and this is three three minute rounds, quarter final number four. Okay, boys, you know the rules. Obey my commands at all time, defend yourselves at all time. Touch them. One semi-final spot up for grabs and the bookies cannot separate these two. Craig Cunningham from Birmingham in the blue, the only southpaw of the group coming off his best win when he outpointed Prince Davis over 10 to win the Midlands area title in December against a guy who's only had one fight since May 2011. Took three years out, Tom Doran. Came back last May with a six-round six win over Harry Matthews. And as we've seen so often, you get that first round in the bank. The pressure off a little bit and caught as he came in there, Cunningham. He actually landed a decent left hand of his own, and then just uh, we, we, we stumbled back onto his heels. So they, they both look like fighters who like to think a little bit. You know, they're not wild, they're pretty controlled. So I'm wondering the, if the three rounds is going to be difficultly split, these two, they look really well matched. That's the first impressions you get with them. And obviously one big, big problem for Tom Doran to solve. The southpaw stance of the rangy Craig Cunningham. He missed wildly there, Doran. Yeah, and he's a southpaw that boxes at range, and uh, they come into the, the nightmare character. The aggressive southpaws are not so bad who come in. But this fellow at long range, liking to counter. So Doran... Uh, a few problems maybe to solve out now. That's oh, exactly how to solve them. Shook it. Terrific shot. And that's the right hand there. That good jab too. A couple of confidence building shots there from Dorn. No question. The best punches of the round so far have come from him. And they're the ones that the judges remember. Good defensive work there as well from him. Now, I like the look of Dorn the way he's thinking what he's doing. Yeah, but he's just picking his moments to get, he's just flitting on the edge of range, just picking his moments to move in. Nice defensive stuff again, now you're asking for a warning. That. I mean, that was a punch that should never have been thrown. Uh, I think he knew it as soon as he yeah, landed it. Yeah, of course it. he did. Like, come on, I shouldn't have done that. But he's having real problems with these, these lot, and he's there, he's more problems now for Cunningham. Knocked down as well as he walks on to another counter. I think Cunningham's problems, he's not committing himself to his punches the way he should do, and I think that's why he ran into trouble there. Doran is more prepared to commit himself when he decides to go to work. He puts what he's got into, that was a nice little cuff coming back from Cunningham, but he's been on the floor, and over the three rounds, he knows he has a lot to do. And he will be open to some of those counters now as well. I was just about to say, Jim, before that knockdown, that he's he's been winding up these long left hands, Cunningham, and Doran is seeing them coming. Yeah, and he's, he's not moving in behind the punches. That's the problem. So they're falling short, and they're not difficult to counter. You want to move in behind punches. If they don't land, then you're in a position to, 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 to nullify what's coming back. But you don't want to be reaching. But, I mean, not, not a lot to split them, but the knockdown makes it a big round for Doran. What can John Pegg do here? He's winning that round until the knockdown, yeah? You've got to win the next two rounds sharp and fast. Every time he makes a mistake, sharp backhand. Nothing silly. Jabs upstairs, jab downstairs, and head movements all the time. We win the next two rounds, we still win the fight, yeah? But they'll give it to the guy who wins the two rounds, okay? So you've got to you was winning the round till that silly knockdown. Don't stand in front.
You know, it's a pity because it wasn't a clean punch that landed. It kind of it seemed to sail partly over his head. It actually looked like the the bicep that landed, so that was unfortunate. But we didn't spot it. The referee didn't spot it. So he has a mountain to climb, and his corner of just uh, stressed that on him. But not pressing the panic button in that corner either. You heard John Peng there say you win the next two rounds, you win the fight because they always give it to the guy who wins two rounds. That's not necessarily true, but it, it'll keep Cunningham calm. He won't panic. And I think if you panic against Tom Doran, you're in serious trouble. Because he looks very measured with these counters. Yeah, he almost looks poised, doesn't he, Nick? Although he's ready, he's got something ready for you. If you give him the chance, there's the right hand. Again. Doran's missing a little bit now. But every time he does lunge in and commit, you just get the sense that he feels those Doran right hands cutting him. This is a bit better from him. Orange is maybe waiting a bit longer than he should do. He does like to counter. Well, I think Cunningham's aware of that and he's trying to just bait him, draw him in. It's clever this from Cunningham. Yeah, Doran not been allowed to time the punches as well as he did in the opener. Really, he should be looking to take the initiative. The right hand works when he throws it, but he's not throwing it enough. Missed there when he did. Blood from the nose of the Connors' key man as well. And a nice jolting right hand from Cunningham. He's getting himself back into this. Yeah, I think Dorn uh, took a tumble to himself that he had to up the taste, but he walked right onto that jab. He's not finding the range. Dorn, this is clever stuff from Cunningham, just flitting out of out of distance. He's made a very, very smart adjustment here, Cunningham. Not committing himself, not being so open to the counters, and doing some good work with the right hand as well. Because those left hands he was missing badly with. Making Doran miss again. Yeah, it just makes it all the more unfortunate the knockdown in the opening round because on replay you could see that it wasn't actually a punch that landed cleanly. But there you go, take what you get in this game. But this has been a terrific response from him. Good work again from Cunningham. Well, it's another one of those, Jim, isn't it? Somebody wins the first round clearly, then the other guys come back and take the second round. Puts it all on a knife edge. Yeah, well, apart from the opener, I mean, we have really, you know, the, the quarterfinals have been really close affairs. Yeah, they've all been 2 1. And this one's heading that way because for me, Craig Cunningham really box smart and clever there and now the work has got to be done in this corner with Shane Thomas, Bob Shannon and uh, the crew. Listen, relax a bit, you're not working, you're jabbing up, are you? Get that jab and work to your left, you go to your left, go to your right, side. isn't it? Well, he's in shots out, so I'll pick them little four, five punch combinations up. You drop him back away from him, counting it. No, he found the answers in the, the second round, Cunningham. Still not fully committing himself to the punches, but he was tying them much better. Catching Doran as he was coming forward, you know, just being a little bit too predictable, Doran. Nothing silly, son. Nothing silly. What you don't want to is you turn it up or get out. Turn it up or get out. Faster. Well, with the knockdown, Doran still has his nose in front here. Cunningham has to come out and win this round. If he does, on a 10-9 card, we could have a tie, in which case the referee, Victor Lachlan, will have the deciding vote. A long way from that yet. 
in those circumstances, uh, like, I think I would uh, vote for the man who's actually won two rounds. I mean, a one-punch knockdown, OK, that wasn't really a bona fide knockdown, nobody spotted that, that's just one of those things. But uh, if you've won two rounds but found yourself on the floor and it's all square, I think maybe you should get the benefit of the doubt. But a lot to be done here in the third, may not need that. such a decision time for both these fellas they both know they've got to go for it but also they both know they can't leave themselves open one slip your prize fighter is done for the night and again Doran struggling with his range here I'll be honest Nick the, the quality is not great at the moment you know they're kind of flicking punches a lot of missed punches the accuracy not there from either man, but just uh, two styles that haven't quite gelled, but it's certainly close, and that's a little clip again from that southpaw stance from Cunningham. And getting caught, and he's moved in again, Doran. Cunningham giving himself a chance as we head down to the final minute of this one. It's so, so hard to come back from being flawed in the opening round of Price Fighter and winning. But Cunningham's getting close. The Doran's not really getting the punches off. He's not getting himself close enough. He should be showing little feints drawing the lead. He's just marching in straight lines. Needs a bit more imagination. That was better. It's still there for one of them. Can somebody make the breakthrough as we tick down to the final 30 seconds of this fourth quarter final? Nice counters. The double jab from Doran. Out of range again there, Cunningham. Yeah, there's been a lot of miss. Uh, Missing in this round, as I say, not the best of quality that we've seen so far. Just sometimes the South Pond, the Orthodox, uh, they don't gel. I felt Craig Cunningham needed a big third round, Jim. I'm not sure that was big enough. Yeah, I'm just wondering if the, if the knockdown will be just be able to decide this. I mean, that was a, a third round that really could have gone either way. I don't think either man stamped his authority on it. I couldn't actually split them, so I've got the, the knockdown just turning this in Dorn's favour. But uh, a little bit scrappy, the, the longer it went, just become a little bit scrappy. And, and neither man really got to grips with the other one's style. So I'm just wondering if that knockdown, that fortunate knockdown, we must see, will nick it through for Dorn. Or will the judges be impressed in the last two rounds of Cunningham? This is one I would not argue about, Nick. I don't feel strongly I don't, either way. I don't think the fighters feel strongly either way. No show broding, celebrating, trying to impress the judges, nothing. Cunningham just pacing him, pacing and pacing, hoping he's going to join his stablemate Cello Renda in the final four. And Doran getting called over to referee Victor Lachlan because I think we're going to find out now. And remember, if it is a tie, on the cards, the referee will make the final decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds in quarterfinal number four, the judges have scored this contest. Phil Edwards scores a contest at 30 26, Terry O'Connor 29 27, and Ian John Lewis 29 27. All three judges are in favour of the win. And through to semi-final number two to join Luke Keeler. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner from Connors Key, it's Tom Dorn. Well, there was no suspense there at all because with the knockdown, a 30-26 card gave all three rounds to Tom Doran. I think I quite get that one, but I don't think anyone's going to have too many arguments that Doran's got through, but certainly one of those cards will raise eyebrows. Oh, well, if the right man goes through, then uh, well and good, we won't worry too much about the maths.
but uh, that wasn't the, the, the best spectacle. So hopefully in Dorn's next uh, match-up, uh, the styles will gel better. It's Luke